Geneseo Central School District is moving forward with a journey driven by necessity. Hi, I'm Cindy Flowers, Superintendent of Geneseo Central School District. We are moving forward with a capital project due to critical factors that have surfaced. This project includes three components, a safe campus, increased security, and enriching students' lives. Let's start with the first component, student safety. Physical education classes have been displaced for over the last two years, and our athletic teams have been impacted as well. The varsity volleyball team has had the most significant impact. Over the last two years, they were unable to play their home games in their gym. Having to practice at neighboring schools, this situation has been emotionally and physically draining on those athletes. My name is Chris Butera. I'm a teacher here at Geneseo. I've been teaching here for 17 years, and I'm also the varsity girls volleyball coach. I've been coaching volleyball here for 16 years. I'm Emma DePew. I'm a senior here at Geneseo, and I play volleyball. The new project coming up, I think, will offer more space for our students and our athletes. I think that's the biggest thing that our district has lacked when it comes to PE as well as athletics. I think it'll definitely be good for the team to have another place to really practice again and to be able to come together in a way that we couldn't really when we didn't have one. Over the past two years, we haven't had a gym to play in due to some um, damages to the floors. I'm Craig Vealy, the Director of Athletics and Physical Education here at Geneseo Central. Chris Masters, and I teach middle school, high school, physical education. From a safety standpoint, I think, you know, obviously the walls is, is a huge safety uh, point, and obviously the mercury uh, that's in the floor. There's many times where we have two to three classes on um, and only one gym space. Uh, which often causes some issues when we're indoors. So it's been a really tough on our, our PE teachers and our athletic teams for practices and, and contests and teaching during the day um, without any gym space at all. So it would really be a, a detriment, I think, to our student athletes in our community um, if this gym was ever shut down because of the walls or the floor um, not being safe for our students. Past season, we had no home games. We played all of our games on the road. It definitely made for some longer nights as far as practice. We never got home as early as we would. It added 30 to 40 minutes, if not hours. And it was a lot of constant communication between athletic directors, coaches, players, parents, transportation issues. Pretty big struggle the past two years not having any facilities to, to practice in. Yeah, it was definitely difficult having some of my junior season cut off and then my whole senior season not having a gym for that. We didn't have a locker room either. That was something that was definitely a struggle for everyone. There was a lot of other things that I don't think people thought about, like us moving all the equipment that we've ever bought for the program to different schools every time we had to practice or play different games there. Having parents and, and fans try to travel to come to games as well. You know, they, they couldn't come to games in town. We were fortunate enough to play at the college a couple times, which is great, but it's not the same as playing at your school. It's gonna open up a lot more opportunities to the community um, to be able to use the gym. When we have tournaments or scrimmages, we'll be able to invite more teams if possible, just having a, a larger space to work with. Let's talk about enhanced security. Our current project includes a secure vestibule, which would have a three-step process. They would have to be buzzed into a first vestibule. They would then have to state their purpose for visiting our school. They would then be allowed to enter into the second step of our process. They would run their license through the rafter system, and then they would be allowed to wait in the waiting room until someone from the school escorted them to the office or where they were visiting within our school district. Increasing security is our number one priority in keeping our students and staff safe. Another component of enhancing our school security is relocating the SRO's office to the front of the school. This provides immediate visibility and law enforcement presence to help us with our safety and security goals. My name is Joe Hopper. I'm the school resource officer for the Geneseo Central School District. School security is the number one focus for school districts. As a school's SRO, having my office relocated to the new vestibule will allow me to have a quicker response regarding student and staff safety. Finally, let's talk about enriching student life.
I'm Allison Chandler. I'm the Drama Club Advisor. I've also been a teacher at Geneseo Central for 30 years, and I'm the president of the Faculty Association. We have a really inadequate amount of storage space right now for Drama Club. We're hoping that the floor of the stage will also be refinished because it's looking a little bit ragged. There's going to be a new entry that is ADA compliant so that all of our faculty and students and community members can safely enter and exit the auditorium. A new exterior entrance to the auditorium will provide a safer means of egress and include much needed secure storage at the back of the stage. There's just no room to do anything. Um, if we're in the middle of a show, our wood room and our costume rooms are sometimes used as dressing areas. That's not really that safe. We have things in the tunnel of our school and we have things actually outside in the pod. So anytime we're doing anything with our productions, we have to send kids in all different areas of the school and actually outside of the school to bring things back. And it would just be way better if we have safe space that's right where our productions are so that we don't have to be wandering around the school all the time. My name is Mike Salatel. I'm the middle school, high school principal here at Geneseo Central. I'm excited about the proposed capital improvement project. The performances by our students have consistently been a cornerstone of our school. The proposed improvements included in the capital project will allow our fine arts program to continue to grow and shine. Sam and Will have been in our drama club for seven years and their responsibilities were being part of the crew. They have tremendous knowledge of the ins and outs of all the work that it takes to put on the quality performances we do. Tell me a little bit about some of the disadvantages that you have experienced. Um, some of the biggest issues we have are our space. Compared to other auditoriums and other performing centers, our space is very limited. Well, I think with a better space, it'll give a lot of our people on crew and on the stage a chance to better express themselves. It's difficult to find where everything is. With a bigger space, we'll be able to have better labeling, safer storage. We'll really be able to use the space as it's intended to be used as a backstage. Safety is a big thing. I can remember multiple shows where we have 80 plus people in the cast and crew all running around in our tight space back here. So. Um, with more space and better storage comes obviously it's safer. It's also just easier and less stressful for everybody to not have to be constantly thinking about you know, where they can go to be out of the way or, or where they need to store different things. It just makes every aspect of producing a show that much easier. I want to extend my deepest appreciation to our community and school for your support of our Fine Arts Booster Program. As you know, we have some of the most talented performers in the area. Your support will allow us to continue that tradition of excellence. Thank you. Our capital improvement project includes renovating classrooms to accommodate our UPK students. This will allow our youngest learners to start their educational journey right here in our school and have access to special area programming. I'm Christy New, the Geneseo Elementary Principal. And I'm Casey Van Epps, Director of Teaching and Learning. A full day UPK program in a school district offers a solid foundation, ensuring that our children are academically, socially, and emotionally prepared for kindergarten. Consistency matters when it comes to education with our youngest learners. With a UPK program, our teachers can be aligned for future exploration, discovery, and holistic development, setting the stage for what's to come for our students. It helps to prepare for full day kindergarten setting that foundation for connection, for relationships, comfort, and stability within our campus. Having our UPK program here on campus provides our students with a chance to not only connect with the environment that they're in, but also with the larger school community. There are so many people around and familiar faces that they'll become accustomed to in this transition that their transition into kindergarten will be seamless. They'll feel comfortable not only with the staff that they see, but the friends that they meet on the school bus and the teachers that they say goodbye to each and every day. So those tears that sometimes happen in the beginning of kindergarten days, you might not feel those. You might not see those because that comfort and that that, um, gosh, that love for the, the educational environment has been established. They're ready to come in. They know the routines. They know the hallways. They know the locations of where they're going. And 
most importantly, they know one another and how to be a student. Bringing this experience here to our Geneseo campus not only provides that emotional support for our kiddos, but also paves the way for future academic success. We're able to have our staff at all levels connect to ensure that the foundation is laid for not only our reading, writing, and math skills, but also some of our most important soft skills, social emotional learning and community building. Having this opportunity for our UPKers to be here on campus is going to pave the way for a larger investment in our collective future. The Capital Improvement Project does come at a cost for our taxpayers. The total cost of the project is just over $28.3 million. This project will allow us to provide a safe campus for our students, improve security, and enrich students' lives. Hi, my name is Mike Tonellio. I'm president of the Genseo Central School District Board of Education. The remedial solution is temporary, but it did give us enough time to evaluate the project and to determine our long-term needs and that is the project that we are proposing to you in January 2024. The new capital project request will address the permanent solution for the gymnasium and bring our facility up to current codes in safety, security, and programming. We realize this adds to the cost of the project, but after evaluating approximately 14 different design options, we believe the collective improvements will maximize the educational benefits to our students and minimize the costs to our community. On behalf of the Board of Education, we thank you for your past support, and we look forward to your future support. Thank you. We invite you to learn more about our capital project. On January 22nd, we will have a public hearing in the Middle School High School Media Center at 6 p.m. The Capital Improvement Project vote will be just outside the McCarthy Auditorium foyer on January 30th from 8 a.m. to 8 p.m. We look forward to seeing you come and cast your vote. Together, we can make Geneseo a place where our students grow and thrive. Your participation matters. Thank you.